Okay, this is gonna be a very fanciful botanical. And what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna create a little bit of a background, <clears throat> which I've been experimenting with quite a lot lately. It seems to work better, um, backgrounds and alcohol ink that is, on Yepo paper, because Yepo seems to stain. Whereas something like um, Nara or Dora Bright um, doesn't stain as much. And for a background, I want a stain so that when I layer on top of it with my botanicals, it's not going to move the, the background um, like other uh, papers would. So I am just really going to add a lot of alcohol. And then I'm going to take slate and I'm going to dump it on. I'm going to start wiping. I'm going to wipe until it is pretty much dry and I find that it doesn't really leave much by way of streaks if I just keep wiping. Elbow grease into this. I can hear you. <sighs> okay. Now there is some pattern to this, and that is fine. I'm okay with that. What I'm gonna do is I have this little fine mister, it says for water, but I have 99% isopropyl alcohol in here and I'm just gonna mist it to create a little bit more pattern like raindrops and then I'm gonna let that dry okay so like I said this is a really fanciful botanical and I am going to use that was slate that I put down and the bulk of the flower, I'm going to use pitch black. I've put it into one of these little measuring cups, added some alcohol to it. And then I'm going to take these little micro Q-tips and a cleaning duster. And what I'm going to do is drop a line move this here a little bit. I'm going to drop a line of this black on here, kind of where I want it, in the direction that I want it to go, and then quickly blow. And now I'm going to drop some just plain isopropyl into another measuring cup. Take another micro Q-tip. And then I'm gonna two hand this. Office Depot dusters tend to overspray like this. For these type of flowers, that doesn't bother me. Uh, for other things, I would not be too thrilled with it, but um, I've used a variety of dusters and I just noticed these that are a little less expensive <clears throat> tend to overspray like that. I'm just gonna build on this a little. Just 
just keep building. Ooh. I don't really want a little awry, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is just drop them a little straight alcohol. This pitch black is real pretty because it has so many different colors in it. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for a little bit and then I'm just sort of do the other side here. Disaster. All right. I'll leave a little gap there. Okay. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do instead of one long line, do it in segments. So start maybe with the tip of your flower and then bring it in this way. All right, so I'm gonna put moving this around a little, but I need to get a better angle. Now, you don't need to use these particular dusters. Um, what I find to be a little more uh, cost effective is this electronic um, duster. The only thing I don't like, do you see how big this, this nozzle is? So it has a wider spray, so you can't really pinpoint the really fine areas of these sort of wispy flowers but it does the job um for a lot of different styles so keep that in mind it, it's much more cost effective than these i mean these can cost a fortune but i really like the really narrow nozzles here okay so then what i'm going to do i think i'm going to add a little bit of rosewood i'm going to put that in little measuring cup as well. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot um, of this particular color, <clears throat> but we'll add here in the center. Just for a little interest, we're gonna add some more colors to. I do like the way that looks. Good. Then I think I'm going to do a little wild plum. Also putting it into a measuring cup and adding a little isopropyl to it. And another little tip for this one. And as you can see, it kind of feathered out here a little bit more. That's going to be okay because I think I'm going to add a little sort of alien pod we'll call it to that area Let's get 
this around now. This side. Add as much or as little as you want. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is put maybe a little bit of this up here for a pod and also some of the, what was it, rosewood. And we'll add more color to that as well. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> um, and then what we can do is maybe just a little dot of color in here. And maybe a little here too. Okay. And we will be adding and subtracting to that as we go. So now I'm going to take, <clears throat> I have these Cali Art um, alcohol ink markers, and they are two sided, a fine side and a broad side. I'm going to take the broad side and just do a stem. This is, of course, is black. And then I'm going to <clears throat> take some plain isopropyl alcohol and a little dabber and create texture right at the base of the flower and the stem. And that will blend and mix. little fine dots with these along whatever edge you want <clears throat> or even within the other petals here okay uh, look at how pretty that blended um, let's put interest in here all right um now I think I'm gonna do a little dot here wild plum in here as well. Way that looks. 
Okay, I'm going to now take this and I want to sort of dot off a lot of the color, but leaving a little bit on and then just dot it around this area and a little on the stem. I'm not sure how much the video is picking this up, but you can see just little hints of color on the stem of this really beautiful, you can see it's coming out. <clears throat> and then maybe here too. This area of the flower is always my favorite to do because you can do so much in this area to really make the painting pop. <clears throat> okay, that's looking really good. Um, I think what I wanna do now is add <clears throat> in just a little hint of blue. Let's see what this is, okay. So this is also a Kelly marker and it's uh, B258. And as you can see, it's a real kind of deep teal. And I'm just going to add it into this base here just a little bit and probably my pod. here and your eye will just naturally pick up on it and will cause you to focus on the painting just a little bit more always I always put a contrasting color in Let me drop a little more alcohol in to lighten it up. We'll see. I like it to go kind of travel up the petals just a little bit. And you can see the difference that makes. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to put some on my pod. Drop a little alcohol in here just to blend that a little bit. Really make it look like a alien dropped in. That's pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add a little more red. Darken this up a little bit.
You can use a um, paintbrush, <clears throat> wherever you have to hand. I need to use my paintbrushes more. I'm relying a little bit too much on these and I sometimes just like real fine lines and I can't get that from these. Maybe that's a good intention for the new year. Use brushes more. Now, as your ink starts to dry on your little dabbers, you can really get some interesting effects too. Okay. So, don't want to do anything else. I don't know. This is just um, plain alcohol. And this should brighten my area up just a little bit. Display some of these inks. I'm liking how this turned out, and I really like the, the background. That is something that I do plan on doing a lot more of. And again, some papers are just better suited for a background, and um, Yepo just is one of those papers. I'm really kind of happy with this right now. I don't really want to, I don't think I'm going to do too much more. <clears throat> Except I think maybe I'll just, the pink down here is really intense. So I'm just adding a little bit plain isopropyl and blowing this out kind of thinning out the intensity of that pink and making this little area a little more uh, luxurious, I'm gonna say. a little dot of the wild plum and throughout here sort of disperse it and then maybe heavily dot it down the stem a little okay that looks good it's just barely there, but you can see it. Yeah, that's looking really, really intense. 
<clears throat> and as you can see, the the um, red that we put in is kind of coming through just a little bit more now. All right, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Very unusual for me. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you tried it and what you think, if there's any suggestions that you have, I'd love to hear them. Um, any feedback that you have would be greatly appreciated and I'm very grateful that you tuned in to watch. Hope you have a very happy start to 2024.